Another thing I wanted to ask you, dude, I heard about your uh, TBS wipeout. <laughs> why don't you tell us about that? <laughs> what do you want to know? What do you want to know? Um, <laughs> how, how did it happen? And also, if you met John Cena. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> How did it happen? Just straight from the beginning? Yeah, 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 please, please. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm interested. Okay, so one of my clients, uh, Pamela, she was in American Ninja Warrior, I believe, uh, I think like 2017, 2018, maybe. So she was already in, was it kind of in, was it this, the circle of TV shows? Like uh, she was being recognized already. She was being, you know, people were see her. So she applied for Wipeout uh, because Wipeout was bought out by TBS. Mm-hmm. It was actually originally from another network. They they stopped filming for for a little bit. So I don't know if you knew. I think the last episode or the last season of the original uh, producers, someone passed away. So that's why they stopped filming for for a bit. Got bought out by TBS, and they kind of revamped it. So new host John Cena. Camille Caustic, Nicole Byer. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with, with them, but new, like new setup. So when they reached out to Pamela, they were saying, hey, you need a partner. Um, so Pamela, does, she's a badass athlete. She, she does rock climbing. <laughs> yeah, she does rock climbing. She does trail running. She does obstacle course racing. So the first time I saw Pamela, it was at a championship uh, obstacle course race, a Spartan race. I think this was December, maybe 2018, 2019, uh, reached out to her. I was like, yo, like we need this girl on our team. You know, she's, she's half Filipina, half uh, Jewish, short stature. So it's just something you don't really see in our sport because it's a very wide dominant sport. So the well, they're the athletes that do well are, you know, Caucasian taller, um, you know, they're usually have a, like a running base. So she's you know she's like five foot like five one maybe you know know, part asian so it was just out of the ordinary and i was like yo like our team is so diverse like she was into it um it was it's such a male dominant sport as well so it was just like hitting or checking a lot of boxes Mm -hmm. out reached out and i was like hey like are you representing any teams right now and then she was like no i'm i'm not and i'm actually looking for a team so i was like oh this is perfect Uh, let's check it out we did a bunch of races, competitions together. Um, she's she crushed like usually she's in for sure podium or at least a top five uh, placement in like any sport that she she does. So super competitive. And then yeah, when she got reached out, she had a couple options like her rock climbing buddies or trail running buddies, and then uh, she also pitched me. And she's super bubbly, like high energy all the time, does not need coffee at all. Oh, like you'll hear her from a mile away, like Pam was here, you know? So, and, you know, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm the complete opposite. So the producers like that balance, that yin and yang, Mm -hmm. you know, I was kind of balancing her out. So yeah, that was my first exposure to television. Uh, She already knew like the ins and outs of, hey, we need, you know, like, we need video, we need content, we need photos together, we need to uh, be seen training together, all this. So like, we already had a lot of that, you know, uh, you know, from previous, you know, competitions and stuff. So it was just the putting it together and then doing so many, it was, I think there was like two or three interviews um, via Zoom, phone call, um, pretty much everything. And this was like high COVID time too so many COVID testing and then by the time we even got to the film date it was you know COVID test in the morning everyone was secluded we were like in a in a weird way in a it kind of worked out in a favor because each team had an assistant like we couldn't touch anything mm-hmm. they had to get everything for us so I was like hey this is kind of nice we had separate bathrooms like <laughs> I was like yo this, this, this is the tv live so like yeah I want <laughs> more of this you know (laughs) but um yeah man it's so tv you know like you don't see the course when before you come on uh they presented a powerpoint presentation of the rules like how you're supposed to um approach each obstacle and then 
it's actually three rounds. So 10 teams go against each other first round. It's a one time through. Okay. So whether you fall, make it through, um, you just have one attempt. And like I said, you don't have the time to kind of like strategize or game plan. It's just your blinders on and you just go. Uh, first round is just meant to wipe you out. Like no one leaves dry or, you know, through the course completely. So the second round, I think was probably the hardest um, round. So it's three teams go head to head. So there's two, two, two groups, three teams each. So um, it's essentially a 45 minute, as many rounds as possible, whoever gets to the end first. So there's little checkpoints in between. Um, if you fall, you swim back, climb up to wherever you have to, to be, attempt the obstacle again. And if you miss or you, you can't get it, you just keep going. 45 minutes. Damn. And you have to think about it. We're falling maybe 15, 20, even sometimes like 30 feet high. You're yeah. getting hit by this huge machine and then you have to swim and then do it again. So it was just, uh, it's tiring, man. And then, you know, in the edits, it's only like seconds or yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. minute or whatever. People don't understand that. <laughs> dude. We've been going at it. We've been trying to get through this for 45 minutes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, and me and Pam were, were probably the more athletic teams out mm -hmm. there because, you know, they're, they're casting just average Joe's mm -hmm. I mean, people coming straight from the couch from you know athletes to bakers artists mm -hmm. kind of just like a full range of people and we were looking at each other like man if we're tired these people these They're people must be exhausted <laughs> you know like um people were you know ha had oxygen masks mm -hmm. and they were they were requesting you know um urgent you know like <laughs> the, the medical tent Jeez. so yeah and people don't realize people are getting hurt. Yeah. You know, people were getting hurt. Um, and then like, you know, too, like I had a compound fracture mm -hmm. uh, on that last, last obstacle in the last round, like my ankle got caught as I was falling and then just like snapped two places. So even Pamela got uh, multiple concussions cause she was getting hit so much, you know, I was like, yeah, I was like, this is no joke. Oh, oh. This is no joke. So, I imagine, man. Um, and then going back to your question, didn't get to see Nicole Byer or John Cena until the last round. Okay. And they were in like this little booth where they're kind of uh, talking, like spectating the course. Mm -hmm. So got to say to, got to say hi, didn't meet them in person. Cause mm -hmm. again, this was a high COVID time. Yeah. yeah, That makes but sense. I saw them maybe like 30 feet away. So <laughs> you're like, <"Sup>, dude? <laughs> Sup, see you later. <laughs> like, John, do you see me? <laughs> No, that's, so. that's pretty cool, man. Um, yeah, you know, you talking about that whole entire thing where it's like, you know, getting hit multiple times. I can't like I can just imagine the pain. <laughs> man. Like that must have sucked, dude. Yeah, I think it was man, I think it's just the falling. Falling from yeah, yeah. you know getting hit and then falling. I was like, man, okay, I, I gotta do this again, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> I I gotta make it, I gotta make it through. <laughs> so um yeah, man, it was it was tough. That's very cool, man. 